The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series in Michigan brought to you by Aflac. Ask about it at work. By Haynes with panties that won't ride up. Be wedgie free. And Coors Light. Get Coors Light pole position alerts on your cell phone. Just text pole to 42100. Radio from Kyle Busch has that last caution waved. Well, this is my shot. Yeah, there you go. Stay. Everybody stay here. <laughs> Steve Addington saying, yeah, don't hit. And uh, yeah, this is Kyle Busch's shot. He's third behind David Reagan and the leader, Carl Edwards. As we get set for restart with 10 to go real quickly. Carl, Kyle. Boy, uh, I, think, I think Kyle will catch him. I think uh, it's a great opportunity. I like that clean air that Carl's got out front. He's been fast. Here we go, Doc. Oh, it's going to be good. You love this one at Michigan. Pace cars pulling away. Can Carl Edwards become the second driver to sweep Saturday and Sunday in 2008? Kyle Busch entered at Chicagoland. Kyle Busch has got to get by the teammate of Carl Edwards, David Reagan. Remember, Reagan does not have fresh tires. Carl trying to pull away, and Kyle stuck behind the six car. Yeah, I think his only chance is if he can get to the outside of the six car, and he's not even trying to go to the inside. Shows what I know. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay. He's in second spot. That was big right there to get that to that point that early. Carl still him. got a pretty good jump on him. This gives him plenty of time now just to focus on that 99's rear bumper. Don't you think that Carl Edwards isn't looking in that mirror, though? He is up on that wheel right now. Look yeah, at David Reagan back on really the inside. Fast. Yeah, that's going to help. David Reagan did not take tires and is having the best run of his career. How much does Jack Roush love seeing this for his young driver? Kyle Busch didn't, just didn't seem like he could get his car down ever going into turn three and on the exit like he couldn't get back to the throttle. And David Reagan took advantage of that as Kyle gets the spot back now. But he's lost a lot of, lot of time to Carl Edwards. Remember, we are just an hour west of the Motor City. General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler. It's all about pride when they come to Michigan. They want to win here. Toyota has never won at Michigan International Speedway in NASCAR, Sprint Cup, or Nationwide, for that matter. Yesterday it was uh, Carl Edwards in the Ford and Edwards trying to hold on, hold off the Toyota of Kyle Busch here with eight laps to go. Now we do have cars going everywhere. They're in every lane, taking up all the lanes there now, Andy. Look at this, three, four, five wide there. Way up across the racetrack. There goes Hart and Vickers. That's fifth, sixth, seventh. Well, Matt Kenseth has complained about a loose race car all day, but he's in a position right now in sixth. He could really make some good gains as far as the points go. How about Mark Martin there on the inside? Got himself up to fifth spot as they went by the start finish line there. Kevin Harvick coming. He's running these guys down. He's the one making the moves back there. Clint Boyer, by the way, is a lap down in 22nd position. Elliott Sandler is back there in the 19 car. That's Tony Stewart and Elliott battling. That is for 9th and 10th. Mark Martin's got four tires on. Matt Kenseth back there has two tires. Matt takes the spot away from the 83 of Brian Vickers there, though, so that moves him up, gives him five more points, actually getting up to the sixth spot. See Jeff Burton trying to draft along with Tony Stewart on the bottom of the racetrack, the 20 and 31 cars. No Whoa. trouble, and that is uh, Denny oh, Hamlin. Oh. Wow. And Jimmy Johnson was right behind that when uh, when this engine had problem took place. On the apron. Now before that happened, he was uh, in, and I know we talk apron. about points a lot, but we're getting to that point. He was ninth in the points, and he had an 89-point cushion. Now this is going to be huge, though. This we've had a lot of guys right there that we've talked about all day that have had a lot of problems. Now the 11, the 9, the 24, and the 07 hasn't run that well. Jimmy Johnson had just got by Denny Hamlin right here on the apron. Wow. This engine blows up. Talk about timing. And there are still 39 cars on the racetrack. Uh, the 39th place car, three laps down, and there's five to go. So 
Hamlin comes to the pits, he could finish uh, 39th, and that would be a huge blow in terms of his points. And do you ever look when something like that happens with five to go and say, man, I wish we hadn't ever made that last run on Saturday in that final <laughs> yes, practice? Yes, I have, because you could just need just a few more laps. Five more laps would have done it. That's a tough break. You hate to run all day long and have the thing blow up with five laps to go. All right, let's go back to Chicago. We saw Kyle Busch in this very position, except it wasn't Carl Edwards, it was Jimmy Johnson. And we know he's really good on restarts. We're gonna have just basically two laps to go by the time they get this cleaned up. I say, I, I'm with Rusty on this one. I think Carl's got something for him. Mike, let's check in with the, in the Kyle Busch pit. Well, just before that caution came out, it was almost as if Kyle Busch was waving the white flag and just acknowledging the fact that the 99 and the 6 were just better than him. But once this caution came out, it, it breathed new life into him. He believes he might have a chance, but still, he figures he needs to do a little bit better job on the restart. He said last time he was just overdriving it. Remember the blast restart, he had David Reagan he had to deal with. Now he doesn't have David Reagan. He just got his focus on the back of that Ford of Carl Edwards. Let's listen to the uh, Carl Edwards radio. Just saying it's going to be a good race either way and we'll win if we deserve to. But uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's good enough. But... He sounded pretty confident to me. Yeah, I would be too, I think. You talked about the uh, restart at Chicagoland. When Kyle Busch had to get it done, how aggressive was he going to be? Well, we know what happened. Kyle Busch, aggressive, able to get by the 48 car, took it to high side, took it to victory lane, sweeping both races in the weekend in Chicagoland, NASCAR Nationwide, and Sprint Cup.